Well, my name is Blake McCullough. I'm the product manager for Combines at Colossus of America. All right, so thanks Blake for uh, joining me today. Tell us a little bit about uh, what your, uh, your announcement was today and, and how it's going to affect uh, producers, especially in Western Canada. Absolutely. So today we launched our all new 6000 series Lexion Combine. Um, what this is, is bringing our Walker, conventional Walker machines up to the same um, updates that we did with our hybrid machines last year, the 8000 and 7000 series combine. So a lot of changes happened within this Walker machine. Um, a lot of the changes we could say as a whole were bigger on this machine than our hybrids last year. Um, really what's going on on this machine is the change um, within the heart of the machine. So we've completely updated and revolutionized the inside of this machine from our old Walker um, APS threshing and Walker system to the new APS Synflow Walker system. In that, we have four synchronized cylinders, um, and that's where we're going to get a really big change because the last machine only had three. And so with that, you're getting an accelerator that's going to help bring that crop up to speed and make sure it's a smooth transition from the feeder house into the new and large threshing cylinder that's 30 inches, where it used to be 24. Um, behind that would be our new separator cylinder, and that's 24 inches diameter, and that's where we're going to get a lot of our added um, capacity increases in this new machine. Um, so with a walker machine, we always know that you're always separator limited and because you just run out of walker room. So with this new cylind separator cylinder um, included within the APS threshing system is going to give us a lot more active separation action to really push this machine to the next level. Okay, so when, you, when we were talking about going to the next level, you talked about some of the, uh, the um, efficiencies that are going to come out of this as far as productivity. Tell us a little bit, do you have any numbers you can share with us about that? Yeah, absolutely. So this machine we tested against our previous models and we've done some tests and get more comp against our competition. And if we use our um, previous Walker machine, the 670 as a baseline and we compare in alike crops um, in the same field, we're actually to get it, able to get about 20% more throughput um, through this machine at similar horsepower levels. And a lot of that's attributed to the new um, APS inflow hybrid system, or uh, excuse me, Walker system that I just discussed, that new separator drum. And along with that um, would be a little bit of extra to added horsepower on these new machines. On the old 670, we're at 375 horsepower. On these new two models, we're going to be at uh, 402 on the 6800 and all the way up to 466 on the new 6900, which is going to be the highest within any Walker machine in the world. Um, so a really powerful machine to go with this new processor. Um, you pair that with also adding the jet stream cleaning system that's been on our hybrid machines for years. It's been really successful. We're really able to get a lot more out of these machines than we were previous with our old style. Okay, so when you talk about getting out, getting out in the field, um, what about time? How much time are you saving? How much uh, efficiencies are you growing getting that way? Yeah, so as you're um, pointing to, there, there's efficiency within combining and then there's efficiencies that come with the combine that are not directly attributed to combining, let's say. Um, so with this machine, we have the industry's largest grain tank, so up to 425, which is allow us to go longer without having to unload. So in Western Canada, in your big fields, um, you can use less grain carts, be able to carry more grain, um, be able to unload faster to get that grain cart going to the other combine um, at a faster pace, so 5.1 bushels per second unload, which is also gonna be the highest in the industry. Um, so both of those efficiencies really add to the overall farming operation and not so much just the combine, let's say, and its efficiency. Um, you pair that also with um, 25 mile per hour between fields on track and wheel machines, so very fast between the fields. Um, we've also added a lot of convenience features into the combine to make sure that we're changing between crops faster and trying to keep the operator in the cab where they're most efficient. Because if they're outside changing concaves or having to reconfigure the threshing area for the conditions they're in, um, which conditions can change very fast in Western Canada, as you know. Um, if they're having to get out of the cab and make those adjustments, they're not combining. And then the combine can be as efficient as possible, but if it's not moving, you're not getting anything. So being able to adjust the threshing area by just push of a button, um, be able to go to high to low and you thresh low by push of a button, all those things um, really add to the efficiency and keeping the combine moving. Great. So when you talked a little bit about the cab, tell us a little bit about how the cabs changed a little in this, uh, in this series. Yep, so with the 6000 series, you got the same updates to the cab that the 7 and 8000 series did. So an all new armrest, so the whole operator console is brand new for these machines. You're getting a big, big um, touchscreen on there as well. 
we've actually given us a little bit more room behind the seat to give a little more room in that cab, bigger window into the grain tank, um, and help reduce the overall noise within that cab as well. Um, one of the things that's really cool that we've done is um, made the feeder house, so rather than having chains on the feeder house, it's a belt. And that belt's a lot quieter and long, it lasts a lot longer and actually gives you a little flex um, to make sure you're not jumping cogs as often as, as well. And so help with the reduction in noise, the operator comfort was really important um, on this machine as well. Perfect. Is there anything else that uh, we need to touch on on this uh, the new 6,000 6, series? Sorry. Um, um, not that I can think of off the top of my head. It's just, it's a machine we're very excited about. I know within, you know, the U.S. and North America that walker machines are not really at the forefront any, anymore. Um, it's just the industry is gone. But even with the knowing that we didn't want to fall behind our walker technology, we had the upgrade in the hybrids. We wanted to make sure we kept our walkers up with there too. So we're keeping a high performing machine in the more conventional package with this machine. Perfect. Well, listen, I appreciate your time, uh, Blake. And um, when will this uh, when, when will this product be available this year? So we actually have six machines that are going to be out um, this year. We'll have about one or two going to the West Coast to do some micro seeds um, in the Pacific Northwest here within the before the end of the month. Um, those will be the first two in North America in the field, and then we'll have four in Western Canada that will be in customer hands. Um, and those should be getting up there about July timeframe. So we're going to get some experience in the field in a few different conditions this year. Um, and then we'll have full production coming for orders for next year. Perfect. That's great. Appreciate the time, Blake. And uh, hope to talk to you again soon. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you.